female had uh, gun, multiple gunshot wounds, so my deputies rendered aid to her. Running just feet across the street in the small town of Hunter, northeast of Enid, a 26 year old woman taking multiple gunshots after she was dared at a party across the street to try and steal one of these Nazi flags from Alexander John Feaster's front yard. On the way back, someone held her gun, she dropped the flag at the end of the driveway and shots were fired. Nobody wants to look at him is the, is the problem. <laughs> a neighbor not wanting to reveal his identity, but says he and his family were woken up by the sound of gunshots. Started trying to figure out what was going on. Wasn't 100% sure if it was fireworks or gunshots and uh, figured out pretty quick it was gunshots. And Sheriff Jody Helm says he used a rifle. Feaster was taken into custody from his home with no incident. Immediately asking for a lawyer, deputies got a search warrant for his home. We recovered uh, the uh, suspect's rifle and about total we got about 14 guns out of there and some ammunition. But neighbors saying he's flown the flags for about a year now. When nobody really knows him, I mean, he keeps to himself. And other than this instance, claiming there hasn't been any issues. It's never really been a problem. His flags got stolen a couple times when he first put them up, but uh, you know nothing ever came of it. This is the first time it's came to violence, and he's been out uh, mowing neighbors' yards and just smiling and waving at everyone. Austin Brissett reporting for us. Feasters in the Garfield County Jail on charges of shooting with intent to kill and assault and battery with a deadly weapon.